Let me come right to it. I want to talk with you. They call this the cut and creating tour. That's what folks working with me. They said if I didn't pronounce the G's and cutting and creating, in other words, the MG's, they weren't going to pronounce me. So they just said cut and create. Uh, we're talking about cut and spend. We're talking about creating jobs. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, this country is piling up debt somewhere in excess of a trillion dollars a year. We're spending it, those folks in Washington are spending a trillion three to a trillion five a year that we don't have, piling debt up on our children and our grandchildren, putting their future at risk. And I suspect, ladies and gentlemen, they've now reached levels where they're putting our future and our near future at risk. I understand what we've been going through, and I understand some of what we're up against right now. Unemployment data in the rest district is right at 13% of the weighted average, 13%. This year, in our neighbors in, in uh, Carroll, in Haywood, in Longdale County, it's been 18% in each of those three counties. Cut the waste, cut the spending, and restore fiscal sanity. We don't need to be the first generation in American history to leave the next generation worse off. We don't have to do that. Every generation in this country has always improved this country and left the next generation better off. Good evening! Good evening. Are you excited to be here? Yeah! yeah. I'm fired up. I'm telling y'all, I am so excited to be with you. I am a truck driving, shotgun shooter, Bible reading, gospel preaching, tax paying, crime fighting, family loving, country boy. And I am proud to be with you here. Now don't forget who's paying for Social Security. You are and I am. It comes out of our paycheck. It's come out of your paycheck. And they want to take part of our Social Security savings, our tax dollars, and they want to put it in the stock market, gamble in the stock market. Imagine where you would be. Imagine where the winners you know and the widowers you know and the seniors that you love would be if they'd had a chunk of their Social Security savings in the stock market in 2008. Where in the world would they be? I promise you this, I'll give you everything the good Lord will give me strength to do. I'll fight for you, I'll work for you, I'll do everything I can to try to create jobs and to try to get this budget back in balance so that your children and my children and our grandchildren have the opportunities that we've had and an even brighter future than this Let me stop here, let me ask you.